Hello and welcome to the best lips of 2020 where I'm sharing the best lipsticks, lip glosses, lip pencils, and a few balms that I discovered in 2020. Now I'm being very selective with the products that I put in these best of beauty 2020 videos. So if you know I like a product and you don't see it, it may mean that I discovered it in a different year or that the products I picked just edged it out. It definitely doesn't mean I don't like the product. I have some great things in this video so let's go ahead and get started. But first, Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy everyday beauty made easy, that's what my channel is all about. I would love it if you would consider hitting that subscribe button before the end of this video. All right, I think I'm gonna start with lipstick, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, I have a few products in this video that are standouts among all the rest, and I will be telling you what those are as I go through the video, but all of these are really great products that stood out to me above all of the other things that I tried this year, and so it was only fair to include what I included in this video for you because I knew you guys would wanna know. The first lipstick I'm gonna talk about is the Bare Minerals Mineralist Hydra Smoothing Lipstick. Now, I like a really good bullet lipstick, and I do have three, three and a half, I guess, in this video. In most circumstances, I'm just not a fan of liquid lipsticks because they dry out my lips. I know we are living in a mask world right now, so I do have one in this video that is phenomenal. Now this lipstick is actually supposed to improve the condition of your lips over time if you keep wearing the lipstick, which I think is really great, especially if you're getting any older. I mean, we all want things that are going to improve the texture of our skin and of our lips. I just love the way these make my lips look and feel. They do minimize the vertical lip lines, which is always a plus. They're opaque, creamy, and nourishing, hydrating. All the great things that I want in a bullet lipstick. I've been very impressed with this formula. I think it's kind of under the radar. I have five shades that I really love. For all of these lip products that I have more than one shade, I'm going to show them on the screen. Feel free to pause it so that you can see the swatches a little bit longer. And I will have links for all the products I talk about as well as what I'm wearing down in the description box below. And to get to that, if you're on mobile, just hit the title below the video. If you are on desktop, look below that title and you'll see the words show more. And that's what you click to get to the description box. I just think the quality is here all the way in terms of packaging as well as what's inside the packaging. Now all of these lip products are in here because of the formula but some of them have also found specific shades that I really enjoy and that is this next one. So this is the color that I have on my lips today and this is the only color that I have in this lipstick. This is the Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love. This also has a nice bullet. It's a little fatter than the Bare Minerals that I just showed. This is also long wearing for a bullet lipstick. It's very very opaque with one swipe, very creamy, nourishing. It's got hyaluronic acid in it. And this shade is called Dusk, and it's just been that perfect nude brownish pink, kind of mid-toned. It's like it's just cut with just enough pink to where it's not too brown, and it goes with everything. I just love it, and I love the formula. So this has been a standout shade as well as a formula for me in 2020. This is another underrated lipstick. I did put it in a recent underrated video. I think that's the video that it was in. This is the Buxom Full Force Plumping Lipstick. So Buxom is known for their plumping lip glosses, their lip creams that really just kind of hydrate the lips while they plump them. And they do have a little bit of a tingling kind of minty sensation, but it doesn't kill your lips in the process. This does have a slight tingle to it, but it's not as much as the glosses. I have four shades here that I absolutely love. They work really well for my skin tone. And I've just really loved this formula. This this one out of all of the bullet lipsticks I have does the best at smoothing out the vertical lip lines because it has that plumping action in it. It's got hyaluronic acid as well as oils that just help nourish the lips, moisturize the lips, it wears a long time, it's opaque. I mean, you're seeing a theme here with all of these lipsticks and these are just, you know, standouts to me for a reason. And I love this when I want a bullet lipstick that gives me plumpness when I don't wanna wear a gloss. This was a great, great find in 2020. This next lipstick surprised me. I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I do. I tried to limit my lipsticks to three or four in this video, but I wanted to put this in here, so I have five. And this is the Sigma Infinity Point lipstick. I thought this tube shape was kind of a gimmick, but there's actually something to it. I would say it takes about three full turns of the tear shape 
to get it to where I want it to be to apply the lipstick, but it turns very, very smoothly. And the point of this lipstick is really nice for application. Again, an opaque, creamy, long wearing formula. I wore this shade the other day in a video and the stain of this stayed on my lips so long that day. I have four shades that I absolutely adore. I have liked this formula a lot more than I thought I would. It's creamy, it's hydrating, it's long wearing, it's opaque. You know, this is what we're going with here, but that's what I like in a bullet lipstick And I know that's what a lot of you like as well. It also smooths the lips now I don't think this one has extra great ingredients in it like the other three do that I've talked about so far But I still really love the formula now Here is the one liquid lipstick in this video if you follow me if you watch my videos You know what this is gonna be and you know the reason why this is in this video This is one of the best lip products that I've discovered not only in 2020 but ever especially right now while we're wearing masks. I have an entire video on this trying to find a dupe for it. The results were pretty interesting actually. I'll link you to that video up here in the corner as well as down in the description box. This is the Chanel Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue. You have the pigment here and you have a gloss top coat here. I do have four shades of this as well. I love them all. This is the first liquid lipstick that I have ever found that actually leaves my lips feeling good and not dry. It doesn't emphasize size texture on my lips. It actually stays on all day long. And again, I will link you to that other video, but this lipstick is just unlike any I've ever tried. And if you're wondering how this compares to other two-step lip products, check out that other video. Everything you need to know is in that video. But yes, hands down, the standout lipstick product of 2020. I mean, if you're wearing masks and you don't want dry lips, but you want to keep pigment on them, you need one of these. You know what I just realized? Every lip gloss in this video is drugstore. I talked about this first one as being kind of a combination of a couple of products that I really love and use that are a little bit higher end. So this is the Pixi Lip Lift Max. I have the shade Sweet Nectar. I know there's other shades. This is just the one that I have. It does have kind of minty tingle to it, just like other lip plumping products, but it is not anything tremendously stinging or anything like that. But this gives a nice plumping action to the lips while also moisturizing the lips and leaving them feeling nice. This is kind of a combo to me of the City Lips lip gloss that I love and I use as kind of a pre-treatment before I do my makeup to kind of prep my lips, as well as the Charlotte Tilbury lip oil product. I can't remember the name of it. I'll have both of those linked below though. But for the price, I mean, you just can't beat this. I discovered this in 2020. I think it's a fantastic product and I do love this shade. Since discovering these, I've talked about them many times on my channel and I just put them in my top 10 drugstore products of 2020. I'll also link that video down below. This is the Maybelline The Lifter Gloss. I have two shades in this. I love both. One has a slight sheen to it, a slight shimmer, and it's pretty much a dupe of the Fenty Gloss Balm, the original. The scent is almost identical. It's got kind of a candy sweet scent and taste to it. It's got a substance, but it's not sticky. That's what I like in a gloss. I don't want it to wear off too quickly, but I also don't want it to be tacky or sticky. I just love the formula of these so much. And I also really love the formula of the Milani Ludicrous Lip Gloss. Now, I don't know if these came out in 2020, but I discovered them in 2020. And that's what this video is all about. The shade that I have is called She's All That, shade 120. I really love this shade. It's got this kind of rosy undertone to it, but a little bit of sheen. This has less of a scent than the Maybelline, if that scent bothers you. But it's just a really beautiful, kind of my lips but better enhancing shade. This is also a really beautiful formula and I'm glad I discovered both of these in 2020. So I have two tinted balms that kind of tied for me. I was trying to edge one out and then I thought, you know what? I don't think you guys are gonna care if I just put them both in here. The reason why I'm putting these in here is because I find that one or the other is living in my purse all the time and the one that's not in my purse is living on my vanity. And the reason why I keep one in each location is because they give my lips that, that slip 
that moisture that I need with just a hint of a tint, but yet I'm not applying as much substance as, as a gloss, you know, or a lipstick, just a little something. And it's not so much that it's going to, you know, get all over a mask if I'm wearing a mask. So the first is the NARS Orgasm Afterglow Lip Balm. And the next is the Becca Hydrolite Plumping Lip Balm in the shade Tide. Now, I don't really think this is plumping, but I do think because of the nourishing ingredients and because of how hydrating, moisturizing these products are, that they do a good job of smoothing out the lip lines and just leaving your lips feeling really nice. And I think there's a need for that. I don't always just want a plain lip balm. I've really enjoyed these. These have stood out to me this year and I had to share them in this video. Let's talk lip pencils. I have two lip pencil type products here from Milani that really stand out to me for 2020. And actually both of these were in my top 10 drugstore purchases of 2020 video that's linked down below. This is the Milani Ludicrous Matte Lip Crayon. The shade that I have is 120 can't even and this is the Milani understatement lip liner in shade 110 nude entrance they actually go together really well I mean they practically could come in a package together, a little duo. I said in that video, and I've said before on my channel, you know, I'm in my mid forties and I find as I get older, my lips are deflating. My lip line is more and more uneven. And I like a lip liner that glides on easily. It allows me to overline a little bit quickly and fill in my lips easily and kind of almost plumps up my lip lines, kind of camouflages those vertical lip lines a little bit. So it has a creaminess to it and kind of has a grippiness to it too. So that whatever lip product I'm putting on top stays on longer. So it has to have some longevity too. This lip liner is really great for a drugstore lip liner. It's probably the best drugstore lip liner I've ever found, much less in 2020. And then the Milani Matte Lip Crayon is a really great long wearing lipstick type product, but in pencil form. So it technically could have gone in the lipstick category, but it is kind of a lip pencil and lip product in one. It doesn't make my lips feel tremendously dried out. You know, I know a lot of people use the Maybelline Super Stay ink crayon. I think that's what it's called. This is very similar to that, but I think it's a little creamier and it lasts just as long. This is a little bit more under the radar and I love it. My lip liner, lip pencil discovery of the year though, are the Pat McGrath Permagel Ultra Lip Pencils. I quickly accumulated four shades of these. I tried one, fell in love with the formula, completely worth the money for me because of how they perform at all the aforementioned things that I said I loved in a lip liner. I have tried high-end lip liners. I've tried drugstore lip liners. I have never had one this creamy and smooth. It almost makes my lips feel hydrated, yet it wears all day and it grips onto lip products beautifully. I can wear this pretty much as kind of like a long wearing lipstick, apply a balm over it and I'm good to go. I mean, I still like my Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. I still like my Urban Decay lip liners, but if I had to choose one for the rest of my life, we're going here. This is a fantastic formula. If you haven't seen the best powders, primers, and setting sprays of 2020, I'm going to link that here for you. And I'll put my other best of beauty videos down below in the description box because I've done a few others. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and become part of the family. And if you want extra bonus content from me, hit that join button if you're on desktop. And if you're mobile, hit the link that's in my description box. And you can scroll through and see different membership levels of the Stephanie Marie Circle. We would love to have you come join us and be a member. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and I do have a lot more Best of Beauty 2020 videos coming out so stay tuned for those. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Bye!